Hey guys, welcome back to a new video, and in today's video, we're back on Scratch. Um, yeah. So we're back on Scratch, and mm, I was, you know, thinking about trying to make uh, something in Scratch again. It's pretty fun last time. I made something in Scratch, so I was thinking, oh, let's make why not make one again. So yeah. Um, let's just get started. So, what I was saying is that like what we could. Uh, Oh, I mean, what what am I talking about? Um, yeah. So as you can see, uh, maybe you can see if you noticed that my scratch looks a little bit different. Like um, this this cat, that was an accident. But uh, it's an extension called Scratch Add-ons that you can get on Google uh, Play, and you can just uh, add add-ons to your scratch. So like um, 60 FPS and stuff like that. And what it can do is it can give you like really useful stuff. As that if you press like Control Space, you can open up this. And uh, let's say green flag, sorry, green flag clicked here. See, uh, you can you can just take out these um, different blocks directly without having to search through this whole uh, thing. And if you want to lock this, you can lock this and stuff like that. It's it's a really cool um, thing. You, you can also have this for animations, as you can see. You have um, this. I think what this is it is um, onion skinning. Uh, this how they animate stuff. So you can animate stuff now. Way easier in Scratch. Use it by using this. So if you want like animate, you can. This is a very nice plugin for that stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So uh, in this video, we're going to do animations. We're gonna go over animations now. Uh, let's for now keep it simple and let's go ahead and select a different thing. So let's select something like the batter. I like the batter. Uh, this batter, oops, just noticed, bro. So, uh, this batter here. So, oh my goodness, I keep pressing event flag. There, one flag click. Let's see. So, costumes, right? So, they have one, two, three, four costumes. And basically, these are the different uh, frames for the character. And batter B, batter C, batter D. So, if you click through these fast enough you can kind of see what's happening she has the bat striking position then starts to strike and then yeah now you can move stuff around do whatever you want really you can do that they've given you basically like free choice if you like bat to go flying you can do that but I'm not gonna do that oops I think I did it there that the bat is back, so like if you duplicate this one, you get to have the bat like fly over here, and then you duplicate it again and just make it fly over there. So now you have created two new frames. Of course, nothing really happened because uh, I didn't change the expression or anything since I can't really. I don't think these are these are grouped. So if I ungroup this, that would make them yeah. That would make them come together, which um would be pretty bad. Now I think I no I didn't mess with them. Okay, so let's learn how to play an animation, right? So we have these this animation. How do we use it? So um this is a baseball. Let's uh, add the ball. Let's add, the, let's add a baseball. Make it a bit smaller. Also add a backdrop. At the baseball field because I need to I can't see anything. What is the baseball? 10 50 25 reasonable size so 30 maybe Yeah, 30 should be good enough And what we do is we go ahead and So when green flag clicked so when do we want the Batter to shoot we want to shoot when we let's say we press space okay right so forever if oh my goodness if space this is way easier space key pressed then actually i'm gonna go here but if space key pressed then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our animation right so costume switch costume to batter a also look at this in the beginning Set the location so if you accidentally move it, you can just always put the green flag, go back. Now, here you can start the animation. 
better be and then wait one second change this to 0 0.2 duplicate this block duplicate this block delete this last block better C better D as you can see I'm gonna that and also switch the costume back to better A So now there is a little animation. Let's move to point one. Make it a bit faster. Da da da. Now you can change it to one second to be able to, if you want to see the animation in place. And yeah, so that's how you play your animation. So you can set these uh, the interval for different times for like each between each costume it depends on how you like the animation or how you want it really it's just you know whatever you want now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, use a broadcast block and this is gonna be hit right so let's say broadcast hit and then uh, for this one the baseball can't just be floating around right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have the baseball okay wait uh when flag clicked go to batter and there we go uh go back a layer go to the back layer since look if i press this it goes back so that when he sh when she shoots uh, the ball doesn't come from her chest uh, or like her not her chest, but like uh, stomach. You know, it doesn't look weird. It doesn't come from the back. It comes from the back. It looks a little more um, natural. Can also maybe hide something. Oh, uh, we can add a weight block between when we want to show the clone of the ball, since we're gonna be shooting the clones. We can't just shoot the original bl um, ball. So uh, let's go ahead and here and when I receive. So when I receive hit. Uh, create clone of myself right so we'll just create clone of myself done also what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and place a weight 0 0.1 second now this will stop it from creating multiple clones at once so that's um, a good thing uh, now uh, I just hit my mic uh, when I start as clone uh, what when I start as clone let's see so first let's go to the batter directly now then forever block and then uh, yes so wait point in direction and then we select this one now backdrop of stage now we select the batter and direction of the batter so in whatever direction of the battery this ball will also point at that and then all we have to do is just move 10 steps right so now we have created that so as you can see it's creating clones of itself now um that might be an issue there's 300 clone limit so let me see what's happening now it's creating a bunch of clones and i've only broadcasted yeah okay so what we can do is like to wait a second there and for some reason it's creating more than one what let's place it there um yeah nice so there we have it so that works well also you can see that tiny little original ball so all we have to do is just hide this de uh, debugging scratch is pretty fun uh, not when you get those gigantic codes that i've seen many complicated projects have um then it gets a little bit too complicated but um, doing these small little codes you know for fun and yeah you can enjoy a lot so baseball shoot in direction now right now it's getting stuck to the wall so forever uh, if then 
touching edge delete this clone now also a function for the battery to move around so let's keep it up and down not move around and what we do is we um, if yeah, outside the second if key actually arrow up press duplicate this into two if we have this uh, Ten degrees, and then for this one down, turn down ten degrees. It's very chunky and very fast. I'm just slow this down. Nice. Okay, now what? Yo. The balls are not stopping and they're not coming anymore. So that stopped. Yeah, okay, I forgot. Uh, when Green Flag clicked hide this one, I uh, forgot to show the clones, which is kind of dumb for, for, for me. Show. As you can see, we have done this so now it does this weird thing where it goes in the direction of the batter even though we're uh, turning around right now this is because we have put point in direction inside the front block so if we put it outside there it will just go in the direction of where the baseball batter where the batter had the direction of just like let a second go so you might See some inaccuracies, but you know it, it really just works. So yeah, that's how you do animations in Scratch. Now for the next one, we're going to uh, continue this project and add clones, other new clones that come towards the enemy to attack. See you guys then.